Right, let's try to doorstep the engineering panel here. Let's see what we're going on. Hello, engineering panel. Jason, let's start with you. Um, how's it been so far? Well, I feel, I feel <laughs> stupid, um, <laughs> pointless, old, and uh, sort of a bit, a bit like a dinosaur. Well, we know all those things. I thought, <laughs> I, felt like, I, thought, I felt like that before I came in, if I'm absolutely honest. No, um, I'm incredibly inspired and, 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 and very optimistic um, about you know, our country's fine heritage in engineering. Let's face it, we, you know, we are um, top-class engineers. We always, we always have been. And despite selling our engineering down the river in the 70s and 80s, it's great to see that it's back with a vengeance. And, and you know, there's some really inspiring young people leading the charge. Awesome. Che, how, how have you been finding it? What's the level been? It's been quite amazing, actually. I couldn't believe that young people, young kids, can be designing and building and thinking about manufacturing and selling these kinds of inventions and these really new... And some, we've seen some engineering techniques that we don't think have been done anywhere else in the world. Really? Yeah. Wow. And that is by, you know, that is by young British kids. And I think, you know, that is a really, for me, it is, again, really hopeful for our manufacturing future because I think we need to get back to building and making things as part of our economy. And these are the sort of kids who are going to enable us, you know, the next George Stevenson or Brunel or uh, yeah, Ada Lovelace, <laughs> we are seeing them here. That's, that's a very <laughs> exciting thing to say. So you're seeing pioneering techniques that there you... There are some amazing things out on the, in these, uh, these kids have done with, the, uh, with engineering and it's what inspires me to come back year after year. I've been judging these uh, projects now for many years and I just get so inspired. I've seen the quality of the engineering standards go up every, every year and what some of them are producing now is absolutely amazing. Thanks. So, Ian, it's going to be hard to <laughs> it's going to be hard to pick one, isn't it? At the end of all this, it will be very hard to pick yeah. one. Um, I think one of the things that I'm really keen to do is to try and encourage more girls into engineering, uh, because the, the sad fact is that about well, less than 15 percent of engineering students are female. There's no reason on earth why this should be the case. You know, the girls are every bit as bright and every bit as capable of changing the world and inventing new solutions and so forth. And uh, we're, we're losing so many talent, so much talent. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Hello. How are you doing? How are you finding the experience at the Big I'm, Bang Fair? I'm thrilled to be here. Good to be seeing some really passionate young engineers coming through the door. And the thing is that they're doing it all in their spare time as well. Mm. So there's been some really interesting projects so far. We've got a real tough job on our hands, picking out the winner from each of these. But they're, they're really inspiring. When I think about what I was doing when I was 15, <laughs> it was nowhere near the level that some of these guys are coming in at. So it's, it's really fantastic. Awesome. Well, a pleasure to have you here. Hello, hello. How is it? Yeah, great. Um, it's just the vision that some of these kids have and the way that they've taken an engineering challenge and they've, they've used their knowledge, they've used science and they've put it all together and they've come up with a product that really does work. And that's what engineering is all about. And it's so exciting to see how they've done that and, and where they're going to go and just think of where they're going to end up. It's just incredible. And I get, you know, you come from a, a specific subject kind of uh, area right you're a pro in your area how is it seeing these kids who have become pros in things that people would take years and years and years to get to that level yes um they've just found a challenge that really inspires them and they've been driven to see it through and come up with something that meets that challenge and that's the buzz of engineering for me that's that's always been the drive so um, it's really great to see that spark in other young kids coming through as well. Well, I think you are going to have a bit of a challenge on your hands, <laughs> aren't you? Because I've, I've, I've been speaking to some of them and boy, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. they're impressive. I, I don't envy you. All right, guys, well, I'll leave you to it because I'm sure you've got the next one kind of coming in in a few minutes.